This is an everyday contouring makeup tutorial, which means it looks natural and great for everyday wear, and it is super easy to do. You can do this in under 10 minutes. It's so quick, no hassle. You don't need to be a pro. This is amazing. If you've never contoured before, you can still do this. So stay tuned. I already have my skincare on, so let's get started with the rest of the makeup. So I've got my primer on as well. I'm gonna go straight in with my foundation because I wanna do this in a way which is really, really easy for you guys to recreate. And it's just generally easy for an everyday kind of routine. I don't want it to be complicated. I don't want it to feel like you are applying too much makeup. I don't want it to feel like there are too many steps. So this is gonna be really easy for you. I'm gonna use my House Labs foundation in 300 medium neutral. I've got my Sigma F85 brush, you can get any foundation brush that you like. I've got the foundation on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna swirl this over my skin. So as you can see, I have like a little bit of concealer on my eyelids and I've got my brows done, a little bit of mascara and that's it. So this is purely about the base today. So I really wanna kind of like show you how you can create that really nice contoured look for an everyday look. So something that's also easy to do, but also doesn't look too heavy and doesn't look overly contoured either. So obviously if you've done your eye makeup first, you can do this, but you can also just do your whole base as normal the same way that I'm doing it and do your eye makeup and everything after as well. If you feel like you're getting value from this video, then please do hit the thumbs up button because it's really gonna help my channel out. If you wanna see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also that bell button so that you're notified every time a new video drops. I am on all of the social media platforms listed below and links to these can be found in my description box below, along with some amazing discount codes from some of my favorite beauty brands. Thanks so much for your support. Now let's get back to this video. So we've got a really nice kind of like natural layer of foundation on, you can see, and it matches quite well. Now what I wanna do is do all my concealing first. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. So I'm using my Guerlain Terracotta Concealer in 2.5 medium, and this is just a really good concealer that I'm loving at the moment, and it's great for everyday wear too. So I'm just gonna apply a small amount on my under eyes here. Just gonna do a little bit of a lift there. This is also classed as contouring, so it's just really easy because you don't have to worry, like you're not trying to find where the right placement is. You literally are just gonna go underneath the lower lash line, but not directly under, because you don't want it to look too mask-like. And you're gonna go upwards towards the temples. And what that's doing is that's giving you a lift. A lot of people assume that contouring is just the dark shade. It's not, it's also the light shade that you use. I am gonna be using a dark shade as well, but I'm gonna make it really, really easy for you. So we're gonna do that a little bit later. So first First off, what I want you to focus on is the light shade. So just focus on doing a little dash there. It's not about coverage. It's not about applying a lot there. It's just about, about applying a small amount to give you that nice lift. We're gonna do the same here and here, just on the corners of the mouth. So you can see both of these lines are going in the same direction. Now you're gonna get your beauty blender, damp beauty blender. You're just gonna press it. You're not gonna move it around anywhere. You're just gonna keep it where it is, but just dab over. See how quickly that, quick that was? And then we're gonna do the same thing here. Just dab on top. Don't try and swirl it around or move the product around. It's fine, there you go. You can see it's kind of like, it's still, you can see there's kind of like something there that's the same color, but it's just not as kind of obvious and harsh. You can't see the edges. Now what we're gonna do is just do this under eye area just to cover up the dark circles because I'm sure we all kind of like apply a bit of concealer there. Apply however much it is that you feel you need. There you go, I'm done with my concealer. Now we're gonna move on to the next step, which can be one of two. So let me explain this. You can, if you want, leave this as this is and go straight in with a cream kind of like bronzer. Now I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer in tan. And it's like this kind of like, it looks like that. It's quite big and it's like just this kind of like cream. It's, it's really kind of like, it's just like a cream. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like moussey a little bit, you know, but it's not fluid, right? So this gives great pigment and it's great at also contouring. So I'm going to be using that to contour, but you could go straight in with this and do your contour like I'm going to show you in a second, or 
If you want, if you feel like, okay, you're used to underpainting like I am, get a small pump of that foundation you put on in the first place, put it on the back of your hand, and you wanna basically just lightly go over, you know, where you've applied the concealer on the under eye area. And all that's gonna do is tie everything together. Now, the reason I say that that's optional is because some people don't mind wearing the concealer on top of the foundation and they're happy with that. If you're happy with that, go for it. I like to add a little bit of foundation on top because I feel like it ties everything in and it stops the concealer looking so disconnected from the rest of the base. But we're gonna move on with the contouring now. So I'm gonna use my Sigma F35 brush. It's kind of like a tapered, medium-sized brush like that. That's the kind of brush you wanna use. Now we're gonna go into this bronzer. Now you really wanna make sure you take this off on the back of your hand first, because this is very pigmented. So you don't want a whole load of product. We're gonna very lightly, we're gonna do this like we're sculpting, so contouring, but at the same time, it's almost like you're applying a bronzer basically, but you're gonna apply it in very strategic places. So instead of going over all the places where, you know, the sun would hit you and you'd look sun-kissed, we're gonna actually apply this everywhere where we want to contour. So if you wanna create more of a cheekbone, so like define your cheekbones, we're gonna go from the top of the ear and we're gonna skim over the skin. We're not gonna press hard, we're literally just gonna skim over. And this is why it's so important that you don't have too much product on the brush. You can keep going into the product and then taking it off on the back of your hand because what that does is it lightens a bit. And as you can see, I'm not pressing at all. I'm literally letting the brush skim over my skin. So it's literally hardly touching my skin. It's very lightly skimming. And see how we've got that really nice sculpt there. So it's given us a little bit of contouring there. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Your application method like might change a little bit when you work on the other side. Like I can't get like that full skimming on this side because it just feels awkward to me. So I just very lightly kind of just still skim but i can't go back and forth away like in the same direction like that and my left hand just does not work <laughs> so i'm just kind of replicating what i've done on the other side and now you can see we've got that really nice contoured cheekbone now next you might be okay with that and that might be enough contouring you can stop at any point by the way any point of the contouring you can stop but you might want to actually go beneath the jawline to just kind of sharpen that whole area and that's what we've done there see that There you go, we've sharpened the jawline. Next area, again, always make sure there's a very small amount of product on the brush. We wanna kind of like lift this area, so we're gonna go right there. And it's so subtle, but it's enough that it actually does make a difference, but you know, you, you couldn't tell that I've got something there. And then the next place you wanna do is maybe on the sides of the forehead where you wanna kind of like slim down the whole face. Or, for example, if you have a kind of like long face and you really want to shorten it you do it up here and you do it there but if you've got a kind of round face you want to really slim it right so okay we've done that contouring and it's super easy and obviously i'm talking through this so it takes it feels like it's a little bit longer but it honestly isn't i genuinely think you can get all of this done in not even 10 minutes and i think we're still below 10 minutes yeah so there you go now i'm going to get a normal eyeshadow brush a normal eyeshadow brush dip into that bronzer make sure i take as much excess off as i possibly can on the back of my hand and this is where i want to kind of like just do my nose and i'm just going to apply a little bit to the side of my bridge there you go and just do a little v there like i usually do and that is enough to do my nose and i feel like that literally is all that i need for an everyday contour i don't feel like i've had to draw in all the lines i don't feel like i've had to really make sure everything's symmetrical i haven't had to worry about blending so much because honestly this whole application process is so easy it's just so easy to do it's an everyday look and because you're using a kind of like bronzing product which is a cream product actually it's not even powder which makes 
makes it even more kind of like more of a natural everyday look. It's just so much easier for you. Like honestly, I'd say this is the most easiest form of contouring because as much as you may think, okay, I need to use contouring products. I need to use contouring sticks and everything. It is great if you have the time for it, but honestly, if you don't and you really want a quick look, this is what you can do. Like it's literally, un it's below 10 minutes. It doesn't even take you 10 minutes to do this. If not, I reckon you could get it done in five minutes. Like how easy was that? Literally the only step left is to set your makeup. And we're gonna get our Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder and my Real Techniques brush. And we are literally gonna just set the areas that we wanna set. So you might not want to set the whole face or you might want to. It genuinely is up to you, but you can just do whatever you kind of want. So I'm just gonna go over my nose as well. Just the areas that I know that I always kind of like end up getting shiny. which is usually just down the center of the face. I feel like even after your powder, like, you know, everything just ties in really well. Like how easy was that? And literally, I'm just gonna very quickly add a little bit of lip liner. Just so it doesn't look like I've got no lips, but that's just my Doll 10 Lip Genius and Bestie. And there you go. It's honestly as easy as that. It's a super quick, easy to do contouring session. Like it's not something that's gonna take you a long time. I feel like I've got the contouring that I need. And obviously if you wanna go a little bit more with it, you can do to make it a little bit more kind of just stronger, just a bit more defined and kind of like give the illusion of like, you know, a stronger jawline or stronger cheekbones or a slimmer nose. You can add a bit more product if you want to. But I really wanted to show you just an everyday contour, something that's just isn't time consuming isn't using like a lot of products and it's something that you guys can very easily do and it's just so easy you don't have to worry about the blending you don't have to worry about all the lines and everything and I think when people think of contouring they kind of get really stressed out because especially if they're not used to it because they kind of think well there's just so much going on with that it looks a little bit too intricate and artistic for me I don't think I can do that you just kind of write it off before you've even tried so that's why I wanted to really show you an easy to do version and also when you do use Use kind of powder contours or bronzing contours like bronzing powder sorry like I feel like it can sometimes end up looking a little bit cakey if you don't get the technique right and if you're not kind of really focusing on every layer kind of thoroughly you know if you're just kind of slapping on and you haven't got time then I would really go for something like this because it's just so much easier and you get a nice natural look and you you know you're not going to go out looking muddy or patchy because you've made sure that your kind of foundation is sitting right you've just got a layer of foundation and because this is like a cream product it blends in with the kind of liquid or cream foundation really easily so you've got no worry of two different textures kind of mixing together and looking muddy and kind of patchy. So I feel like this is a foolproof way to contour your skin and still have it look flawless. I am gonna very quickly just add some blush and only because I really wanted to try this because I got it through today. And it is the Guerlain Terracotta Blush in Deep Pink. And I don't know, I just wanna try it. This is my Refa 19 brush. Let's try this because I don't, I don't usually go for this type of pink. Oh, it's actually really nice. I mean, it's very pink, but I actually really like it. I always face forward to just to make sure I've got it in the right place because sometimes when you look on the side, you, you kind of get the placement wrong. So like, if I can see just a small amount of it peeking through, then I know I've got the right place. So I kind of like apply it right here. This is a really good blush, guys. I don't know if you've heard me rave about Guerlain recently, but I received some of their products and I'm just so impressed with what they've sent. Like the quality is so good. Okay, I'm gonna keep that pink here because I usually go for coral and I actually really like this pink. It's just, it shows up more on my skin. But yeah, I really like it. That's it guys. I just wanted to show you a very quick new product only because I was a bit desperate to try it. But I really do hope that you enjoyed my video today. And also please don't forget that I do have an online publication called The Beauty Breakfast Club where we have newsletters go out three times a week and sometimes more. And you have a free version which means you get access to most of the site. And then you also have a paid version which only costs around a coffee a month. That's literally it. And you get an extra newsletter a week. And we get a little room where we can chat, loads of discussions going on. And it's really nice to kind of have that little community and we 
just part of a club. It's a nice club. And the newsletters are like covering different things like beauty, health, a lot of kind of DIY beauty products. So like, you know, I'll give a lot of the recipes that I use for home masks, hot home exfoliators, like home, like a DIY version of like niacinamide, like all these different things that are very expensive out there. There's a lot of access to that kind of stuff. So you might want to opt for the paid version. And also we do have another version which gives you access to the whole site, but it's called the founding member. And what that means is you pay more than the paid version. But what that does is it really helps to just support us and keep us going and being able to get you guys even better content every time I'm on screen. I do hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. Don't forget that everything I've used is listed in the description below too. So you just need to head on, click on the link and it's gonna take you straight to it. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.